반갑습니다. 혹시 여러분 딜리브리 히어로는 회사 아세요? 어 진짜? 지금 우리 슬라이드 하고 있죠? 슬라이드에 그러면 그 딜리브리 히어로가 한국에서 하고 있는 회사를 누군지를 제일 먼저 올려주시는 분께 어, 여기서 회사에서 뭘 줬어요? 할인 쿠폰을 딜리브리 해요 <웃음> 다섯 사람만 받을게 다섯 사람만 여러분들 스타트업 이야기하면 통상적으로 미국을 많이 생각을 해요 근데 사실은 어, 유럽에서도 스타트업이 꽤 많이 있고 그 중에서 가장 빠르게 성장하고 있는 회사입니다 그래서 제가 오늘은 어, 여러분들인데 스타트업이 뭔지 그리고 스타트업을 하시면서 어, 본인이 이루, 어, 갖고 왔던 여러 가지 이야기들을 간단하게 저는 질문만 많이 하고 답변을 듣도록 하겠습니다. 그래서 딜리브리 히어로는 한국에서 어, 지금 세 개의 자회사를 가지고 있습니다. 그래서 빨리 찾아보시고 어떤 회사인지. As I understand, you first start your business in Sweden, and why did you establish your startup in Sweden in the first place? And when did you realize it's time to expand beyond Sweden? Yeah, so. Um... I had a friend who actually ordered food online back in 2007. Um, it was a very small, not so pretty website. Uh, it was a big PC, and I thought it was just magical to be able to order a pizza mm -hmm. online. Uh, hard to believe today, but back then it was something new that I haven't seen before. And I instantly knew that this is what I want to build. Mm -hmm. I want to build a better service for delivering food and other items. Uh, so started in Sweden, expanded into four markets um, around Europe, and eventually I felt I have to do more. I have, I have to build this service globally. Um, so in 2011, uh, I decided to start Delivery Hero uh, from Berlin uh, to in Germany, uh, because Berlin had a very good international community and ability to, to, to grow internationally and, and That was also the year when we launched in Korea through Yogyo. Mm -hmm. Then it was related to the... Uh, then what about the Sweden and the, Berlin, the Germany ecosystem, startup ecosystem? What is the difference? Yeah, so I think different cities have different specialities and ecosystems. And I think if you look at Sweden, and I'm from Sweden myself, uh, we have been very good at products. Uh, very strong product focus being Skype, Spotify, Klarna, a number of those very product-focused companies that go global through a product, a service. Berlin has been very international, and it's very easy to get international talents. We get people from Korea, from Mexico, from Latin America, from, from Southern Europe. Everyone is coming to Berlin, and therefore it's very good to build global businesses that requires a lot of local knowledge and local understanding, uh, local language, And therefore, Berlin has been very good for building out global businesses that are still very local and require that need. Okay, then meaning that you was born in Sweden and the start uh, business in Sweden, but you extend to Berlin. Correct. Now you have the how many countries you run the your business? So we operate now a little bit more than 40 countries. So we are in Latin America, Europe, Asia, um, and part of, of North America. Um, our largest part is now starting to become Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are very large in Southeast Asia. Uh, we are very large in Taiwan. We are very large in, in Korea. Um, so we become more and more an Asian company um, and, and than, than a European. 제가 이제 이 질문을 니클라스인데 하는 이유는 우리나라 스타트업들도 처음부터 좀 글로벌한 시각으로 시작을 했었으면 좋겠다는 의미에서 계속적으로 이제 태어나기는 스웨덴에서 태어났고 또 비즈니스는 독일에서 하시지만 전 세계 40개 국가에서 사업을 하시는데 지금 8년 you start your business eight years ago. Uh, yeah, my second business eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago. delivery hero. Yeah. 8년 동안 이제 40개 국가에 진출을 했다는 것 자체를 어, 여러분들하고 좀 쉐어를 하고 싶어서 계속 그런 질문을 드렸습니다. So, well, as we all know that the world is even more globalized. 
with the millions of millions of people traveling every day, then on that point, do you have any plans of developing to your own payment system that, you know, in, let's say, Yogi, your client, if he traveling to Taiwan, then he can use the same uh, platform and same payments. Do you have any friends? So um, we very much believe in local entrepreneurship and that local teams know best what's to be done in local markets. So that's why it's very important for us when, when building a business internationally that we really listen to the local teams. And therefore we give them full freedom to develop, we give them technology to develop, we give them complete operation, and particularly in market like Korea, because we know there's no one knowing that better than the local Korean community and the local Korean management. Um, so therefore we provide them with money, we provide them with resources, uh, but they are the ones taking the decisions and we very much believe in that uh, operating model. There might still be certain benefits of connecting the applications. So that means if you're a Yogio user and you go to Taiwan, you will come to Food Panda, uh, which is our name there. But you will still recognize yourself or you still find the orders there. And you can use your customer uh, details and, and, and payment methods and so on. Um, but in, in core, we want to be a local business and we, we, we believe we, re we believe the local teams are best to innovate in their local markets. Okay, continuing with your expansion effort, I was surprised that you know, we already mentioned that you, uh, uh, you, you in the 40 countries. Then what does Delivery Hero look for in local partners? And specifically, why you buy Bedaltong and Yogiyo? What is the main reason? Bedaltong or Yogiyo or other, other, well, you have the three uh, sub brand in Korea now. Yeah? Why you choose the uh, Bedaltong Yogiyo? So Yogiyo was built actually from the beginning, from the startup by, by a, a very strong Korean team, uh, also being part of the company now, um, or most of them, or some of them. And um, then uh, Bedaltong. Uh, we, we, we saw some advantages years ago that had certain technologies, certain features that we thought was interesting mm. for us and that would help us to speed up our technology advancement. So uh, with Beraltong, we saw that we can be faster by integrating some of, mm. of their technology they had back then. Um, and that's also the things that we look for in local partners. There will be partners who found something that we haven't been able to do. Uh, this can be innovations in payments, this can be innovations in kitchens, in supply, in procurement. Uh, we also invest in packaging, sustainable packaging, um, be in plant-based meat. Uh, so anything that is connected to food, logistic payments that can further accelerate our ability to innovate. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so that's what we look for, and foremost, we look for very strong entrepreneurs who have the ambition to build very good consumer mm. products. Then, the additional question, then, you have at least three uh, companies in Korea. I believe there is some carnival lines between Yogi and Bedalto. Yeah, we, we try to more and more center it around Yogio. Um, I would say that we try to build in Yogio as a place where you have all the latest, you have delivery from our own delivery fleet, you have the best restaurants, you have all the features, but we still maintain some of the locust brands like um, Belatong, and I, I want to tell the last one um, because some people are just used to that service, they're used to that interface, and we don't want to scare those customers away. We want to give them the possibility to stay on that brand and that application. Mm. But generally, Yogio is the one where we build the, 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 the largest set of, of restaurants and features. You have expanded from the delivering, from, as you mentioned before, the, from the delivered the food, and now EU expansion to the medical product, as well as groceries, the flowers. Then 
in Korea, it's, it's difficult to deliver the drugs. Mm -hmm. But then, what is your next deliver? So um, I think anything that you want to have delivered, we want to be able to deliver. Mm -hmm. um, of course, food is a large part of what you want to have delivered to your home. But anything you want to have fast, we would be able to do. Mm -hmm. So if you take Amazon, you might go there if you're okay that it takes two hours or a day. But you come to us when you have it in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we are the fast version of Amazon. Uh, that's how we see ourselves. I think in order to do that, I think we have to innovate a lot already. Uh, how can we get it faster, lower price, more efficient, better service to our consumers? And, and that is already a big effort to focus there. So our main focus would be at continuing to deliver whatever our customers need. Um, and and that, that will be our focus for the next, uh, next years. Okay, uh, please be honest. Who are the most competitive in Korean market for you? Um, so we have a very, very good and, and strong competitor called Bela Minjuk. Um, okay. I'm, I'm very impressed with what they're doing. Um, so, so it's a very strong leadership team and very good company. Um, then, of course, you also have a company called Coupon, mm -hmm. uh, who is also very aggressive and invested a lot of money. Um, I still think they are far behind mm -hmm. uh, in terms of... of, of uh, of at least in our industry of, of food. But we have a lot of respect for, for Coupang as well. Um, but, um, um, but I think generally our largest competitor is still the phone. Still a lot of people, and most people still call mm. for getting their food delivered mm. or they go directly. And uh, uh, so therefore we have to convince people that this is a better way, more efficient way of ordering food. So I would say the strongest comparator is still the phone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, so um, as we try to build the best service for our customers, to build the best experience, um, we rely a lot on those local restaurants uh, in the areas. And first and foremost, we try to help them do better food. Uh, we help them setting up kitchens such that they can expand to new areas. So we try to help those local restaurants to expand their business. We do also in some areas where we see that the market is not moving fast enough, we also help setting up own operations there uh, to build I don't know, what you call content, um, which, is, which is a restaurant in our case or a grocery store. Um, so we do that also with, with, with restaurants to help innovate the industry. But the core is to making sure that the restaurant themselves build because we, we, we are good at online and internet and they are good at cooking. Mm -hmm. um, and we can help them there, but in the end we think that they are the best to cook. So I think... Um, there is a lot of innovation in making sure that applications are fast, mm. making sure that we do the right personalization, that you find the restaurant that you like, making sure that we get delivery uh, speed down to uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, making sure that we have uh, enough riders in the right place at the right moment, 24 hours a day across the world. Uh, and that is something that requires a lot of technology and a lot of innovation. And I think also innovating when we look at, as I say, groceries. How can we make groceries more efficient? How can we make it, uh, the picking, the stores, the, the, the inventory uh, more efficient? Uh, so uh, there's a lot of innovation to making sure that we make it easier, faster, lower cost, uh, and better. But also improve for the restaurants. And I think for us, what's also very important is that we make sure that we have a very strong and happy rider fleet. Um, so therefore, we also invest a lot in making sure that they are happy and they like to come to work. And right now, if you look globally, 85% uh, of our riders are very happy with us. Mm. They love their job. Uh, they love because they also have the flexibility. Um, so they have the flexibility and they can earn quite quite a good amount of money if I look globally. 
Um, so um, I think it also requires a lot of innovation to making sure that they are happy, that they can make a decent living. Um, and, and that's something that we focus an enormous amount of, of money and, and resources on. And I think uh, we are on a very good track to improve uh, for, for what drivers make today and what they will do in the future. Uh, Nicholas, last question to you. 첫 번째 질문, 두 번째 질문 하신 분 하고 이재영님 내려와서 사진 찍을 기회를 지금 빨리 내려오세요. Okay, Nicholas, thank you so much for being with us today. And the please last remark to you, the especially the young generations. To the students. Yeah. Keep on learning and I hope you're building a big company and I see you in the future. Thank you. 감사합니다.